Welcome back to how to build a pipe marimba. This is step five, how to create mallets for your instrument. Basically, we're gonna be starting out with an old flip-flop like this one. You can use a blown out flip-flop like I have here. You can buy go buy your own pair for about $3 from a place like Old Navy or something like that. Uh, take your utility knife and just go ahead and cut off the strap. We won't need any part of it, so you can just throw the whole thing away. I use my knife to pop out the little pieces that are still stuck in the flip-flop, so it's just strictly the sole and nothing else. You'll only need this part. Now I'm going to be using these orange ones because the foam is a perfect density. It's really lightweight but yet thick enough that it will really make a good sound. These are from Old Navy. They were no more than $3. For the first one, you'll basically just want to take your knife and cut out any shape that you want to out of the flip-flop. Um, make it look sort of like a handle so that it's easy to hold on to and not lose your grip and yet strong enough to not be too flimsy. So you'll want it to be about an inch and a half to two inches wide at the base. Take it and lay it on top of the other flip-flop sole and trace it so that both of your paddles will be the same shape. It should look something like this. Now go ahead and grab your knife and just start cutting along the traced edges. Your knife will not be sharp enough to cut through it completely on the first try. At least mine wasn't, so feel free to just take your time and go over it a number of times. You can see I'm using a cutting board underneath uh, my flip-flop so that I don't cut through onto my table or whatever surface I'm, I'm doing it on. Now, if you do it on the asphalt, it won't matter as much, but I'm doing it on my dining room table, so I wanted to make sure that I was being careful. It'll also not get the flip-flop dirtiness onto my table. You can see it's a little bit of work to get these things off, so just keep trying. Be patient with it. Take your time, make sure you don't cut yourself. This is obviously, again, another dangerous step in the process. So please be careful and go slowly. Once you get all the extra rubber cut off, you are set to go to use these mallets on your pipe marimba.